guys, selamat datang dan selamat kembali to Do It Live, the quick and easy way for you to win money right on your mobile phone. It's me again, your queen Tasha. Sean Langsung tak ada this week, but that's okay because I'm here. Before we start playing the game, how many of you are playing alone? Kenapa main sorang-sorang je? Go lah, go invite all the your friends, my canteen ke apa-apa to join, right? For some of you, is this your first time mind do it live? Well, do not worry cuz ini adalah peraturan dia. First things first, a question will pop up on your screen and ada 10 saat untuk dapat jawapan yang betul. Get all the answers right and you will win sebanyak RM4000. Kalau tak menang, do not worry. Boleh je ikut and get points. Semua soalan kita ada points based on how difficult they are and with those points you can redeem rewards. Some lipstick for a, you know a special somebody, you never know. But if kau rasa tak puas hati and nak menang duit juga, then we'll be back tonight. This week is Autism Awareness Week with one theme question in the game and a full themed game on Friday. So, get your pusos ready but invent Inviting member member. How much am me? Get your username from the heart at the home screen and pass it to everybody. You are gonna mind one game first. Baru you and your friend will get a puso. But this is only for first time sign up sahaja. Only one puso per game, and you cannot use it during the SPG of the day. Malam semalam with Abang Matt Ong and both Tao Ks, kita ada seramai 174 winners! Tada, tada, tada. Lah, I hope this reaction still ada banyak, so let's check them out. Duit bring me here. Tengok harga semua, tengok harga. Who doesn't know this chocolate brand and they've been around for very, very long time? According to Ranker.com, Oh, menang, menang, menang. Alright, itulah quantity reactions yang kita nak. Quality pun always okay. Alright, guys? Menang atau kalah, keep sending us your reactions because we love them. And tag us at Jom Do It, then use the hashtag Jom Do It and hashtag Autism Awareness. Sebab, it's important to always be aware and to learn and to understand. Okay, if you have any soalan-soalan ke, ada shoutouts or you've cashed out and nak cari a top like mine, hashtag cotton on, then feel free to reach out on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Oh, and do you see this Wi-Fi thing atas ni? Uh, macam traffic light. Green is good. Green is go. Red kena let. Not speed up, okay? So, kena let jauh until it gets better and green, alright? Right now, we have a number of 13,262 number. The players playing for 4,000 ringgit. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Because I am ready. Jom do it. First question, guys. Apakah nama sebenar The Crocodile Hunter? Adakah ia A. Steve Jobs, B. Steve Irwin, or C. Steve Rogers? Ah, danger, danger, danger! Ah, if you remember that tagline, then mesti ingat The Crocodile Hunter. One of the most fearless men on TV dulu. Bear Grylls ain't got nothing on him, alright? This guy sanggup letak kepala dia inside the mouth of a singer. And that's for fun. That's like his hobby, okay? So, question number one, guys. The correct answer is not Steve Jobs. It's B, Steve Irwin. Wow. Steve Irwin was a zoologist who rose to fame following his wildly popular show from where he got his nickname. Malangnya, dia menemu ajalnya semasa menjalankan penggambaran film documentary Ocean's Deadliest. So today, his wife and his children continue his legacy. Moving on to the next question, guys. This is question number two. Antara berikut yang manakah menyalahi undang-undang berkenaan nota Thai Bud? Adakah ia A. Berbelanja, B. Tercicir atau C. Membakar? This, you know, this sort of thing goes for money dari mana-mana pun lah, right? It's, it's just that in Thailand specifically, it's completely illegal to illegal to do this to money. So, but if you do this, 
ni memang nak cari gaduh lah, nak cari nahas lah ni, alright? So, question number two guys, if you guys answered C, burning, you guys are correct. Di Thailand, ia merupakan kesalahan yang amatlah besar jika anda tidak menghormati kerabat diraja. So, since the king's face is printed on the bad note, it cannot be defiled, you know, or disrespected in any manner, which includes burning, alright? Okay, boys and girls, kita akan teruskan ke soalan yang seterusnya. Ini adalah soalan nombor tiga. Apakah nama grapefruit dalam bahasa Malaysia? Adakah ia A, limau gedong, B, limau kasturi, atau C, limau nipis? Ni, guys, don't get me wrong. Ni bukan anggur tau. Those are grapes. This is grapefruit. And dia nampak more like an orange than a grape. Very different, okay? It is also very, very, very pahit gila. And not all sweet. <laughs> like me. I was told to say that. <laughs> but it also helps with losing weight. So, ada lah juga benefits dia. Okay, guys. Soalan nombor tiga, jawapan yang betul sudah tentunya. A. Limau Gedang. First bred in the 18th century, this fruit is a cross between a pomelo and an orange. Ia boleh memberi manfaat kesihatan dari segi kulit, tekanan darah, kesihatan jantung dan penjagaan penyakit. So maybe, you know, old people. I'm just kidding. Okay, limau kasturi is calamansi while limau purut is kafir, kafir lime. Kafir lime. Kafir lime. You know what? Potato, potato. Moving on to the next question, guys. This is question number four. Kucing dewasa mengiau untuk berkomunikasi dengan siapa? Adakah ia A, humans, B, plants, or C, other animals? Siapa suka kucing selain Atina? Azrael? Oh, he likes to get Cats are very adorable. Just too bad that I'm very allergic to cats. Mom tadi ambil dengan kucing. Guys, main sekejap je and then terus rashes on my whole face. Not kidding lah. Like, but it's okay lah. Aloe vera like made it better. Okay? So, peminat kucing out there, you should know this. And the correct answer for question number four is A. Humans. Only kittens meow to communicate with other cats. Specifically, their mamas. Apabila usia kucing meningkat, mereka berkomunikasi antara satu sama lain dengan bau, body language, and ekspresi wajah dan sentuhan. Arr. Okay guys, moving on to the next question. Ini adalah soalan nombor lima. Mana antara berikut benar tentang Sun Kanchil dan Brer Rabbit? A. Their household pets. B, they're cunning, or C, they're same, they are the same animal. Okay, we all know, of course we all know Sang Kacil, tapi Br'er Rabbit, on the other hand, is a character yang mungkin the older besties would ingat lah. Okay, so this rabbit was in several old Disney Channel films and TV series, you know, always getting into trouble and like sneakily getting away with it. Some Dengan si sang kancil. So, question number five. The correct answer is B. Liche. <laughs> Dalam mengkaji watak sang kancil, Professor George's voice said mencatatkan bahawa watak dan cerita sang kancil mempunyai persamaan dengan kesusasteraan barat. Examples, you know, include La Fontaine's Fable of France as well as Tales of Renard the Fox and Br'er Rabbit. Okay guys, so far so good. We're halfway there. Ini adalah soalan nombor enam. Siapakah yang mereka bentuk perlawanan rasmi untuk Piala Dunia 2018? Adakah ia A, Essex, B, Puma atau C, Adidas? Kepada semua yang kaki bola, this is for you guys because I think I think quite easy lah for you guys kan. Make sure, you know, but make sure to help the other besties. Jangan nak macam don't be like that, okay? The do it team don't really like watching bola. Where they like watching? Yeah, ke? Yeah, ke? Tak suka dengan bola. Hey. Oh, sorry, boss. Dah macam eh. Okay, guys. Question number six. The correct answer is C. Adidas. Adidas has been FIFA's official match ball supplier since 1970, guys. Bola yang digunakan tahun lepas dinamakan Adidas Telstar 18. One ball was even sent to the International Space Station and spent three months in space. But let's not wait three months and move on to the theme question of the day. 
All right, boys and girls, this is question number seven. Pada umur berapakah diagnosis tepat untuk autism boleh dibuat? A, five months, B, at birth, atau C, 18 months. All right, symptoms vary, by the way, since autism itself is on a spectrum. So, but the symptoms vary sangat. It can be very mild. It, it can be mild enough to not sedar sampai dah tua. So, given the time and attention, some yang mempunyai autism are even able to lead lives by themselves. So, question number seven, guys, our themed question of the day. The correct answer is C, 18 months. While symptoms can appear as early as six months, they will either fade away or continue to develop. So, kebanyakan professional yang pakar dalam diagnosis um, autism tidak akan memberi diagnosis yang tepat sehinggalah kanak-kanak mencapai 18 bulan. Okay, the more you know. Alright, moving on to the next question. Ini adalah soalan nombor 8. Dalam agama Hindu, Tuhan manakah dikenali sebagai The Destroyer? Adakah ia A. Brahma, B. Shiva atau C. Vishnu? Ada ramai Tuhan dalam agama Hindu tetapi yang dikenali sebagai The Destroyer merupakan one of the um, bigger gods in the religion. So, dengan nama samaran like, you know, The Destroyer, you can expect him to look like pretty fierce ah, Like, not like fierce Beyonce but like fierce like fierce. You know, he has a trident as his weapon, a snake around his neck and a holy river flowing dari rambut dia. Ha, terror tak terror. And who is this destroyer? Well, of course, it is B. Shiva. Juga dikenali sebagai Mahadeva, Shiva adalah antara dewa utama dalam agama Hindu. He is also known as Adiyogi Shiva, the patron god of yoga, meditation and the art. Okay, guys, moving on to the next question. This is question number eight. I mean, number nine. <laughs> Apakah usia Cathedral Notre Dame di Perancis? Adakah ia A, 856 years, B, 523 years, atau C, 1,010 years? So, I'm sure as you all know, we all woke up to this news and it was extremely devastating but it also wasn't the only fire in the world that day. Al-Aqsa Mosque had an accidental fire at the same time as well. That's two big places of worship guys untuk dua agama yang besar di dunia. Luckily, injuries were very minimal but it's still very sad that this had happened. So, question number nine guys, the correct answer is indeed a, 856 years. Lebih daripada 20 ahli bomba memadamkan api di sini pada hari Isnin yang memusnahkan siling Mashor Cathedral dan tingkap dengan kaca dari abad ke-13. So, French Prime Minister Macron has vowed to rebuild the historical site in five years. Okay, we're almost at the finish, guy, uh, finish line, guys. And this is question number 10. Apakah nomophobia pada tikus? Adakah ia A. Acrophobia, B. Surifobia, or C. Arachnophobia? Eh, huh. This is one of the most common phobias di dunia because honestly, they are quite scary. Like, they're very little but they're damn scary, okay? So scary sampai ada tiga nomophobia just for this fear. But the answer for today lah, is only one of them. There is also musophobia and murophobia. So, that's a lot of phobias. So, the correct answer for question number 10 is B. Suri phobia. What most say is the tails which really bothers them, gross. The quick and unpredictable ways they move seem to trigger people's anxiety as well. Tapi, tikus sebenarnya haiwan, you know, yang pas passive, I guess, yang mengelakkan apa-apa yang lebih besar dari dirinya. Okay, guys, we that door is there's no roadblocks today, man. All y'all doing so good, so so good. Okay, it's time to move on to the funnest question of the day. This is the SPG of the day. Okay, guys, are you guys ready for the last question? This is question number eleven. Negeri mana di Malaysia tidak mempunyai jalan yang dinamakan sempena Hang Tua? Adakah ia A, Perak, B, Johor atau C, Pahang? Siapa tak kenal Hang Tuah? 
When Oh, <laughs> uh, siapa yang tak kenal Hang Tuah? When you think about it, he is the first folklore legend kita semua belajar tentang. Ada yang ingat tak the tak the animated movie dulu yang pasal lima sekawan who got powers and turn into Hang Tuah and friends? That's how big legend Hang Tuah is, okay? So now, before I reveal the answer lah for question number 11, I just got to put it out there, right? A little PSA for you guys. Abang-abang, anak-anak, adik-adik yang tanya tu, ni sebenarnya T ya, the letter T guys. Rantai T untuk nama Tasha. Ha, siapa lagi kalau bukan Tasha? Ini bukanlah salib ya. Yeah? Ini bukan cross adik-adik. Oh, yang yang terconfused to confuse. Ini adalah semata-matanya huruf T ya. Yeah? Untuk Tasha ya. Yeah? Sebab itulah nama saya ya. Yeah? Jadi janganlah membuat fitnah. Faham? Okay, guys, now that we all got that out of the way, this is the answer for question number 11. And the correct answer for the SPG of the day is C. Pahang. Woo! Jalan Hang Tua boleh dijumpai di empat lokasi di Malaysia, which is Kuala Lumpur, Melaka, Muar in Johor, and Ipoh in Perak. And dengan itu, tanya kepada semua orang yang berani macam Hang Tua, yang berani tanya saya apa benda ni for getting through this game, all 585 of you! Okay, the winners today are Marvin, Jeffrey, Fahmi, Filza, Anwar, ABCD, Afizol, Kiki, Akila, Aisha, Hafiz, Selfie, Ken, Snipe, Ken Sniper, Shahizat, uh, Dewish, Jehan. Congratulations once again to all of you. You each win your share of 4,000 ringgit! Alright guys, check your account after 30 minutes or 1 hour to see your money and points muscle. And let us know if you have any questions. <laughs> you definitely got a lot of questions just now. Masalah ke shoutouts atau nak tengok Asfar perform this Saturday? Then please reach out on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And don't worry kalau kalau, we'll be back tonight with Miss Sachi and Asfar for Do It Loud. I'm Tasha and Korang, you know, boleh tak just be kind to one another and then don't remember, don't forget to party on. Bye.